The Jurassic Park Velociraptor has terrorized many over the years, thanks to it representing what some consider to be a nightmare. Throughout cinema history, the Velociraptor has terrorized audiences, serving as the epitome of terror and doom. First appearing in the 1990 novel, and later in the 1993 film Jurassic Park, the Velociraptors have gone from terrifying villain to heroic savior. But one thing about the raptors always remained true. They were likely one of the deadliest of all the dinosaurs in the series. For this assignment, the Jurassic Park raptor will be placed side by side with her real world counterpart, detailing the contrast in their size, behaviors, traits, and more. Now that both our animals are side by side, we can focus on the drastic difference they have in appearance. The specimen known as the big one from the original park stands 6 feet, 1.8 meters tall, stretched 12 feet, nearly 4 meters long, and came in at roughly 300 pounds in weight, 136 kilograms. In contrast, the modern-day scientific take of an average Velociraptor doesn't even appear to be the same species in a way that will be explained later. For now, let's focus on the difference in size. 6 feet 1.8 meters long and 2 feet or about half a meter tall. In stark contrast to the Jurassic Park version, the real Velociraptor only weighed around 30 pounds, 13 kilograms, about the size of a coyote. The fictional raptors excel in dense forests and woodlands, whereas the real thing lived in an environment that was much more arid, dry, and rocky, with only scrubby forests and vegetation. The film and novel's version of the beast was more based on another dromaeosaur, the Deinonychus, which has confused the great portions of the public about what the animal actually looked like. This larger species gave the raptor its more threatening size and appearance than its smaller relative. But don't let that confuse things. The real Velociraptor was small, but still deadly. And the film look has evolved over the decades too. With new characteristics, adaptations, and biological augmentations, consistently changing their overall appearance. Augmentations to the Jurassic Park Raptor's DNA have left them with exaggerated physical features and capabilities. A large, blocky head, more like Deinonychus, was considerably more sturdy than the smaller, pointy shape of the real raptor's skull. But even with its petite shape, the jaws of this animal were still capable to inflict a hefty bite force for its size. Pound for pound, more than most other raptors had which is theorized to have helped the Velociraptor feast on the carcasses of much larger dinosaurs that it came upon. Augmentations have also led to its body being much more muscular and imposing than the real thing, allowing for some impressive physical feats. The Jurassic Park Raptor can jump higher than a basketball hoop and can clear vast distances in single bounds. While not as extreme, the real Velociraptor was no slouch when it came to its athleticism, able to do many of the things portrayed by its larger Hollywood counterpart, lacking in some areas and excelling in others. But the Jurassic Park Raptor's speed might just be the most impressive, reaching speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. Compared to the real Raptor, estimated to only be able to reach speeds of 30 miles per hour. Just like many carnivores in Jurassic Park, the Velociraptors had pronated wrists. The scientifically accurate raptor's arms are in a supinated position. This is better for reaching out and grasping as well as making full use of those wings. The body of the Velociraptor was covered in layers of feathers, 
ranging from small down-like underfeathers to large, rigid wing and tail feathers. This helped keep the raptors safe from the hostile, environmental prehistoric elements of the ancient world, and could have aided the creature in maneuvering across its environment, gliding in its jumps, and steering with tight turns when running. The film's exclusion of feathers on the Velociraptors was due to Spielberg's creative preferences and to maintain the film's look of more reptilian dinosaurs. Believe it or not, the raptors in the movies were going to have feathers, but the famous director vetoed it. The raptors were then modified to have camouflage and appear more threatening. Over time, left alone in the wild. They even had adaptations to represent gender and status in the pack. Thankfully, both raptors share that iconic sickle claw. The film version slashed at their foes with these fearsome talons. While the real Velociraptor's claw was a bit straighter and more shaped like a scythe than a hook. The real light version employed them more for stabbing into the flesh of their prey and climbing, something their film versions can't do. The Jurassic Park Raptor has a wide range of vocals that it uses to communicate within its pack. These were modified from the sounds of dolphins, swans, and tortoises for the films. The real Raptor also used a wide range of vocalizations. Although not nearly as thundering or loud, they likely didn't need to go beyond just socializing with mates, as there is little evidence to support that Velociraptors ever hunted in large packs, unlike a larger species called the Utah Raptor. It was capable of hearing a vast range of sound frequencies, allowing it to hear all sorts of prey, no matter where they were hiding, day or night. To help it see its prey, the real Velociraptor had eyes that resembled, worked, and looked similar to those of modern birds of prey, like eagles. Where its film counterpart had cat-like viper eyes, which was a design choice in favor of making them look more diabolical. In the films, the raptors use a dominant hierarchy that resembles the alpha system that a pack of wolves deploy for survival, when in reality, this was likely not the case. The real-life raptor likely only socialized with its immediate family members and mates, and might have possibly operated under a seniority system where the elders led the family, not the most dominant. And while both takes on the velociraptor were intelligent, although the real raptor may or may not have been setting traps or tricking humans anytime soon, it still had the cunning many modern predators have. Survival does make for the best teacher, and the real thing was every bit as cunning as modern predators. The intelligence of the Jurassic Park raptors are their greatest asset, and their ability to learn has made it possible for them to be trained by and interact with humans, although this relationship is volatile at best due to the creature's highly aggressive nature. The real raptor would more than likely choose to run away from most things larger than it, unless it was extremely desperate. Self-preservation is the name of survival, whereas the theatrical velociraptors are almost fearless to a fault attacking larger predators. Their real-life version had much more success coexisting amongst giants, exploiting the kills of bigger carnivores with scavenging. While the two raptors may appear the same, deep down they both share more similarities than meets the eye. Bonus Facts In the Jurassic films, the Velociraptor is shown being unearthed on North American soil when in fact the real Velociraptor has only been found in Mongolia and northern China. In Jurassic Park, we hear the lines, Yeah, they are lethal at six months, and I do mean lethal. Turns out, the young juvenile real Velociraptors were also quite deadly. Tooth wear was found on some specimens, suggesting at a young age that these animals were already hunting before the end of their first year of life.